This episode of DNews is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. Hey guys, Anthony here at Maker Faire 2013 with Sheldon from Toyota. Toyota uh, brought us out to Maker Faire this week, so first of all, thank you guys for doing that. But you brought us out here because you've got the Toyota RAV4 EV here. Absolutely, yes, and we're uh, proud to exhibit it here today in uh, San Francisco here at the Maker Faire. A lot of electric cars coming out now. Uh, most of the cars that you see are compact. What do you have to do in terms of technology to get an SUV efficient enough to be an all-electric car? We wanted to make sure that we had an EV motor that was powered correctly. And in our partnership with Tesla, we were able to bring in a, a perfectly sized uh, powertrain mm -hmm. that was able to uh, really propel this vehicle and really make it uh, perform equally or as well as the ICE equivalent, the internal combustion engine. So how does, how does this compare with other electric cars in terms of like miles and charge time and stuff like that? Sure, well this vehicle right now, it has a 41.8 kilowatt hour uh, battery and basically charges this battery in about five to six hours, uh, depending of course on you know the exterior temperature and things of sure. that nature. But uh, range, we get an EPA rated range of 103 miles. We really wanted to show the world that the AV could be a no compromise. You didn't have to give anything up. In terms of uh, zero to 60, we do it in about 6.8 seconds, you know, which is pretty darn fast. Wow. Uh, in addition, you know, our range uh, and, and our performance in terms of ride and handling, are equally as, uh, as impressive, if not better. What are, what are kind of some of the hurdles now in terms, of, in terms of maybe going a little more all in on electric cars? Is it even something that you think is on the horizon for all cars? In terms of the electric powertrain in general though, I think uh, one thing that's fair to say is it's here to stay. Yeah. The question will become, it's, it's sort of a race between what is the technology that we'll use to uh, actually power that electric powertrain? Is it gonna be fuel cell? Is it gonna be battery? Those are the, the questions that I think technology will find yeah. We don't hear judge. we don't hear a lot about fuel cells anymore. It was really like kind of like a like a real hot sort of like this is going to be the next big thing a couple years ago, and then it kind of disappeared. Do you see that kind of resurfacing soon? Well, you know, again, it's a it's a distant future technology. Uh, I know Toyota is committed to the fuel cell yeah. projects that we have. Uh, we have a demonstration fleet out in, uh, that's going around in on streets today, yeah. and in the not so distant future, I, I imagine we'll also have some product that actual customers will be able to you know, to drive and, and to experience. Twenty years from now. What is your dream car? What are you driving? Wow, that's a, that's a really good question. In an ideal world, yeah. it's driving itself. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much, Sheldon, for taking time and showing off the car to us. And for more from Maker Faire, be sure to subscribe here at DNews.